uh, annual music and media event, and hopefully it's pretty self-evident what that's about. In the room we have a lot of AIM members, we have a lot of people from the industry who come to the evening, and we have uh, a lot of the media. And uh, this is grown to be one of our biggest events, so clearly uh, it means a lot to you, it matters a lot to be able to get in front of the media, but also uh, it matters a lot to the media to get in front of you because the industry is with you. This industry is changing all the time. We've seen the huge changes over the last 10 years. But the future of this industry is going to be more and more with the small companies. It's going to be more and more with the people who start small, grow somewhere, may get big, may not get big. But the, 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 the future of the industry is going to be more and more small companies. And we've seen this from uh, three or four years at AIM, where despite you know, the industry's evident problems, uh, the independent sector not only is uh, you know, growing and growing, but this year uh, I think over half of our members reported that their turnover was up. Uh, about a quarter reported it was the same and only a few reported it was down. So there is only one way for you to go and that's up. And this is such an important event for you to be able to, you know, get in front of them and talk to various elements of the media. So um, I wanted to tell you who's here tonight. We've got one, one or two new aspects to this uh, evening, which Laura will explain in a minute. Um, but from the um, editors and writers of magazines, we've got... Uh, and this is not an, not a, a, an exhaustive list. We've got Classic Rock, we've got DJ Mag, Blues and Soul, Metal Hammer, uh, Core Mag, F Roots, Mix Mag, Bearded Billboard, Stool Pigeon, The Fly, Days and Confused. We've got The Times, uh, The Independent and The Guardian here. Uh, we've got a lot of radio stations, particularly regional radio stations, but also we've got Radio 1, Heart, Absolute, Kiss, uh, uh, NME, Six Music, BBC One Extra, Choice Radio 2, Total Rock Radio, and etc. And then online we've got CMU, Fantastic, Record of the Day, Drowning Sound, Resident Advisor, The Quietest, uh, Music Homage, Enemy.com, uh, Shake and Stir, Data Transmission, Music Mall, and again a lot of others. And then from TV we've got MTV, we've got Channel A, KA, we've got Sub TV and with Kid Entertainment, as I say, that's not an exhaustive list. And you will have the opportunity to get to meet with uh, any number of those people tonight. Um, a few um, thank yous, as usual, because AIM is always able to put on these events uh, because of the support that we get from, from many, many quarters uh, around, around uh, you know, supporting the sort of creative uh, industry. So very, many really thanks to the Arts Council, um, who are funding the breakout speed dating sessions. Uh, which is taking place upstairs uh, throughout the whole evening. And that's going to be rather different this year because we've got dance, world, folk and urban labels who can meet with a genre-specific media. So you'll be very, very targeted. Um, we've also got a networking icebreaker for anybody that's here for the first time or feels a little shy. And on that note, if you do feel a little lost and left out, do just come over and find me or, or Lara or Judith or any of the AIM staff over there. We'll try and find somebody or put you in a group with somebody that you, you will be able to talk to. We also uh, want a big thank you to Rose at, at Diaspora and David at Juno Download, uh, both of whom have worked very hard to ensure that we've got the dance and the urban labels catered for here tonight as well. Um, a couple of things that AIM are working on. Uh, some of you may have been at the AIM AGM and we had a rather brave uh, big ideas section for the members and we asked our members to come up with the, the, the big ideas that they wanted for the future. And uh, the, the, the second, the, well, George knows very well, the first one on the list was uh, get more records played on Radio 1 and Radio 2. So would you please make sure that George leaves an album clear with that message and he's here tonight. But also would you make sure he leaves with his teeth and everything else about him intact because we do have a great relationship with the BBC and it takes a lot of work to make a hit. Um, it takes a lot of work from you and it takes a lot of work from them. It's a partnership and you have to be ready for them. So, you know, there's no point in going to a large radio station and saying, please play my record, it's great. Because it may be great, but that's not enough. So, you know, it's part of what AIM does all the time is to help you to get market ready. Um, but the second idea was death to CD promos. And I thought it was very green 
idea and uh, surprisingly to me it came in second. So we just wanted to alert the media in the room tonight that we want to leave the industry to switch over from CD promos to a much more environmentally friendly and cheaper uh, way of getting CD promos out to you. So uh, we're working hard on that and any ideas that you might have on that, would you please speak to either me or Sharon who's over there. Sharon, put your hand up. She's leading that one. Um, I also want to give our quiz a little plug. We're having a quiz on the 7th of December. Uh, it's selling very, very fast. It's a quiz like no other. You may not leave with your team from that one, I'm told. Uh, but you might have arm wrestled me or somebody else and you might have done a Congo down the street, I'm also told. Um, it's got very little to do with quizzes. It's got everything to do with having a good night. Um, if you want to come, please see any of the aim team for booking forms. Um, and I also finally want to mention uh, Independence Day. Independence Day is something that we've run for two years. Uh, Independence Day is an opportunity to celebrate everything independent. Uh, we've done two different types of events uh, over the two different days. We, had, uh, we were very lucky the first year to get uh, four TV programs around independent music on Channel 4 uh, and a whole bunch of other things. And then this year we did uh, uh, live showcases at uh, the ICA. Um, I want Independence Day to be an annual event. Um, I want it to involve everybody that we can. If you have ideas about that and your media or your label, please come talk to me about that because I'd love to hear what you'd like from that. And I think that's me done. So I'm going to hand over now to Lara who's put this event together. Fantastic job. Um, I'm going to be bring you one more extra. Hopefully most of you know quite a lot about what we do already. Um, I always like to remind people that certainly in the specialist output of Radio 1, only about 25% of the records played actually come from major labels. 75% are made up of white labels, unreleased uh, material, whether it's demos or unsigned artists, or independent labels. So obviously there is an enormous amount of support at Radio 1 and 1 Extra for independent and uh, new and sound music that potentially could come out on an independent label. So I'm going to be milling around and uh, obviously feel free to come up and give me the music you've got to tell me about what projects you're up to because uh, I'll be here about an hour and a half I think.